Hey guys, what's up? It's Fulf, your one and only. And first off, I want to thank Greg for the beta key. It's been really fun. If you guys are wondering why I'm in bots, is because I'm still trying to figure out my build. And, you know, there are a lot of toxic people inside of actual PvP at the moment. So, yeah. Don't want to get yelled at again for trying to go in on a freaking four-man team versus just the two of us asking why ha why didn't you go in with me it's like it's 4v2 why would i commit suicide when our rest of our team's on the other side of the freaking map but i decided to do some talk behind gameplay well commentary over this video because um greg gave me this beta key and you guys know if you guys give me games i will obviously play them and I've been having a lot of fun with <laughs> Paragon. Paragon is so much fun. So, yeah. With that said, thanks, Greg. It's a really fun game. And two, let's talk about the whole Pokemon Go thing. I was going to talk about that in a Dragon Ball video, but I ran out of time. I have plenty of time in this one because it's like 28 minutes of a match. So, let's talk about what happened that day where I didn't upload for two days. <laughs> The reason I didn't upload for two days is because we literally were out for at least two days straight without sleep. It, it was really fun. Now, we don't always do it. Well, I don't because I don't have a car. My friends, I believe they're out most of the time. If I had a car, I probably would. Or I would probably just walk around the neighborhood, maybe. I might start doing that now. But it's... It's a really addicting game if you've played a lot of Pokemon back in the day. Now, I'm pretty sure there are some people who are out there like, people over 20 shouldn't be out catching Pokemon. It's just like, no, we can. It's our choice and we can do, do it if we want. Now, I, it's up to them to think the way they want. Just because they're not a huge Pokemon fan doesn't mean nobody else is. Especially older people. So, with the whole Pokemon Go thing, we stayed out for like... Uh... How long was it? I believe it was like... The first day, we didn't even go to sleep at all. And most of the things we've been doing were capturing this gym constantly over and over again. Where this guy kept coming back just to capture the gym again. We made friends with the guy. <laughs> he was actually pretty awesome. He had friends as well. We were... We talked for a while, just not like an actual conversation. Talking about, uh, we'll just take over the gym again. He's, and he was talking about, don't worry, I'll come in the morning and take it over. But no, he came like, I don't know, three times that day? That whole night, three times, he came back just to capture that gym again. And all we thought of was, he captured it again. Then we saw another gym that he had down the street where there was a church was. So we took that one. I think it took a while for somebody to actually capture that one. So that one was pretty much a lost cause. But it was really fun just going out with, with the friends. It's a great game if you just want to, you know have a reason to chat out with your friends if you're a gamer. So, I ended up catching a lot of Pokemons and no, I was level 1 the first day. Well, no. No, I take that back. I was on Team Vesper at first. Then, my friends were all on Team Mystic, so I made a new character and we're level 1. I think out of the whole two days, I got to level 11. I think I nearly uh, out-leveled my friends just that whole day. If I was still using my T Vesper, Vesper account, then yeah, I would probably outrank them. Probably could have. Maybe. I don't know. But all I gotta say is that was really something. <laughs> now, all I'm waiting for is the whole trading system and the battling system. Then I can show my friends what is it, 
<laughs> what is worth. I'm just trying to get a slowpoke. That's all I want. If you guys don't know, I'm a huge fan of uh, Slow King. No, Slowbro. I like the way Slowbro looks. And everybody is trying to catch Eevees since Eevees are literally nearly the most OP Pokemon in the game right now. And we've met a lot of people, a lot of new people who've been playing the game. No, we pass by them, ask them what team they're on. <laughs> Insult them if they're on a different team. Yep, that's my friends in a nutshell. <laughs> but it was all in good fun. We all were looking out through each other and having a blast, actually. Oh, yeah. Probably the worst thing is thinking to myself, oh, there's a hunter on our nearby, then we literally chase this thing across the whole freaking neighborhood of, I don't know, it's like a gas station. We chased it through like a whole freaking neighborhood and ran into a dead end. It was ridiculous. <laughs> I believe we spent like a 30 minutes or an hour looking for the thing only to have it keep constantly popping up disappearing constantly popping up and disappearing and thinking to ourselves are we not meant to have this hunter like really now can can we just have him and the same thing with a, like an ivy sword we were trying to get when we were just on the highway wait no it was like a long straight road we just went down that straight road like for about another hour or an hour and a half just trying to figure out where this thing is only just to have it disappear and have ourselves give up on it. <laughs> I swear, uh, in my opinion, I just feel like the detection should be increase a little bit to keep people from going inside of people's neighborhoods and yards because I've seen a lot of people on the news like blaming the game for all the accidents and everything it's just that people are fucking crazy and that people do things they really shouldn't do and they know they shouldn't be doing it sadly they do it anyway. Now, you can't really blame the game. You can only blame the people who play the game for not paying attention to where they're going across roads and not paying attention and just doing things they sh know is wrong and they should be doing. And secondly, they know better. <laughs> Guys, just Play the game responsibly. Pay attention to your surrounding like the game tells you when you first started. Don't pokey and drive. <laughs> Don't. Don't do it. It'll just end up in car crash and bad insurance for you guys. It's probably the last thing you want as well. Now, I don't really like no experience of driving and everything, but eh. I'll get there someday. Someday. But all I can say now is oh god. I just got GTFO'd. Ow. Anywho. Anywho. What was I saying? Oh crap. <laughs> what else other Pokemon we were gonna catch? Ah, let's let's go back to us staying up all day. So I'm pretty sure on day two that everybody like slept for like, I don't know, a few hours, then got back up and went straight back to Pokemon hunting for the rest of the day. It was really fun hanging out with them and it was actually a blast. We went to, uh, I believe, Battlefield Park, which had a decent, well, no, not, I can't even 
say decent. It had a, a lot of Pokemon stops. So I recommend you guys go to Battlefield Park. It has a lot of Pokemon stops. It is actually a good place to just constantly farm Pokestops. I don't know about Pokemons. If you guys want Pokemons, I'd suggest you go in like a really populated area like downtown or something. Like in a city or town to where there's a lot of Pokestops and a lot of people constantly just dropping lures. If you want to catch a lot of Pokemon, then there you go. Oh god, that didn't work out as well as I thought it would. Ow. Okay. At least we both died. But, the thing is, uh, what else? They're supposed to be adding in the next gen in like, I don't know, four or five months, people are saying. I'm really hoping they do. Really hoping they don't like add in something like um, Mega Evolution because I don't know how well that's gonna play out against like normal types or regular ones that don't have the Mega Evolves. And you know, they're gonna be rare as hell. I don't know how they're gonna implement stones anyway. So I just. I'm not a big fan of the whole. Mega Evolutions inside of Pokemon Go at the moment. We have to see how that plays out. <laughs> so, yeah. I am looking forward to uh, Torchic. I really hope they're adding Torchic in because Torchic was probably one of my favorite ones. Along with Swampert. Swampert was always my starter Pokemon. I won't lie because Swampert was actually pretty badass and extremely strong inside of uh, Sapphire and Ruby, so... Hell, I enjoyed the hell out of them. Oh god, we have quite a long way to go. Like... 14 more minutes of talking go? <laughs> Man, how much Pokemon Go knowledge do I have? Oh yeah, let's talk about the Eevee evolutions, which... Oh, oh god, I barely dodged him. Thank god for gamer reflexes. Alright, so the Eevee evolution, sadly, you have to, um, you have to play Russian Roulette pretty much. It's not even, like, given to you. Like, the thing that really got on my nerves was the way they approach the Eevee evolutions. Like, just having you randomly get an evolution of Eevee was kind of a down concept because we never in any Pokemon game have ever had to watch an Eevee just randomly evolve into to one of his evolutions we've never had to do that but just to see that is like pretty much gambling at the moment is pretty stupid <laughs> but everybody's getting what they want what they want at the moment by grinding. It's pretty much like an Eevee grind right now. Pretty sure a lot of people will tell you that they're grinding Eevee. Pretty sure if you ask a friend what Pokemon are you trying to get right now, he's probably gonna say a uh, Vobion or Vespion? Which one? Ah, oh, God, I can't pronounce Pokemon anymore. It's funny because I know mostly every Pokemon. Just that. There's some I haven't seen in so long that I forgot how to pronounce their names. Just enjoying our whole, you know, pretty much days off. Friends didn't have to go to work. They were pretty much excited for that. Just having a whole day off of catching Pokemon. I really hate how that missile didn't go anywhere. It just stopped in the middle of it. It was just turned unreliable. Like, I got you, bro. Here's some disappointment for ya. But, yeah. Back to Pokemon talk. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupt myself during commentaries. If I play any game, I just focus on the game sometimes. Now, there's a lot of Pokemons out there at the moment, but not all of them are out there. 
It's funny because I saw like a Pokemon in the Pokedex that looks like um, Entei. So I was thinking to myself, did they already add Entei in? Because he's just sitting on a freaking Pokedex. I'm pretty sure that's him. That's his outline, I'm pretty sure. I just didn't take a picture of it because I was in shock that it actually looked like him. But hopefully the whole legendary isn't exclusive to an actual area that there's actually multiple ones moving around. Because if it's just a one legendary thing, one legendary to anybody who gets it first is going to be really stupid. Or just have it pop up in a certain area to where you would literally just have to walk all the way or drive all the way to that exact location. You'd be like in California or something and everybody just drives there just to get it. It's only just to be disappointed that they missed it. Really hope they don't do that. That would be the last thing I want. Oh god, I'm probably gonna die here. Please don't hurt me. Let's talk about this, okay? We can talk about that. Okay, thank you. Oh god. Yep. I missed that. Come, come here. Thank you. Ignore the lag. It, it's just something weird that goes on in Paragon. But there's a... Um, there are Gengars in the game, which I'm really happy about because I love Gengar. Which really makes me happy that they added Gengar. But the only thing I'm sad about is the Umbreon is not there. Umbreon, uh, Leafeon, and uh, I forgot the other one. Espeon, I believe, I believe that's the psychic type. And the fairy one is not in there because it's like all the way up in next gen. But I really want Umbreon right now. But the ridiculous thing is that Magikarp takes 400 candies. Now, that would probably be worth it if they had, like, I don't know, a Hyper Beam on it. If he gets a Hyper Beam, then, yeah, it's pretty much a win. Because I got a Raticage that knows freaking um, Hyper Beam and it just one-shotted um, a Pokemon. I'm thinking to myself, wow. So, I just one-shotted a Gym Leader with that and the thing i that we didn't know is that you can fight a gym with teammates that was the thing that really that we really didn't notice that you can just fight with teammates on a gym i think it's like a two no it's like a three on one pretty much if you have enough teammates i believe either that or it's a two on one as you go but it's pretty much like it's not like a normal concept of Pokemon battles anymore it's pretty much just like tap your screen dodge well tap your screen and swipe to dodge it's it's weird it doesn't even act like Pokemon anymore like I don't think I can justify that as Pokemon Oh dear god, I am trapped between a lot of things. Okay, I fear for my life there. But, yeah, like I was saying, it just doesn't feel like Pokemon in a, world, in a way. You know, everybody was hyped because they thought they were going to get a Pokemon game that actually looked like the trailer. What, you actually think they were going to make like holograms and things? Just put them in your hand and you throw a Pokeball? I wish. That would be amazing. But, sadly, they didn't do that. So, that was depressing. Ow. So, I just got sniped big time. <laughs> but, I really wish they would have went with that concept. I would rather catch holograms than, you know, sit there on my phone where my battery life is dying constantly. Now, if they actually made holograms or some kind of, like, live 3D glasses... They actually made 3D glasses that had like Pokemons running around. I would actually wear them. But the thing is, I would love it to show the Pokemon, not the actual virtual reality world. 
I would like to see Pokemon glasses that shows your surroundings along with Pokemon just running around. You could just start a battle with them. Now that would have been an actual fun con concept, but no, instead we got the phone game. So I don't hate the game. I don't see why other people hate the game and I don't see why people who dislike Pokemon are giving other people shit for liking the game. Now, like I said, you can't blame the game for all the accidents and everything. You can only blame the people who are playing the game for not paying attention. So, basically, people who are blaming the game are just trying to ruin the fun for other people. So, in my opinion, they shouldn't be blaming the game at all. Just blame the player. If they aren't paying attention, it's their fault. I'm pretty sure some of you guys would agree with me, some of you guys won't. I'm going to see so many dislikes on this video. Oh my god, please help me. Yeah, we're going to wait for that to go off, buddy. Now you can take that. Oh god, he poured it out of it. Oh, never mind, he went back into it. But, yeah. I'm just waiting on next gen. I'm mostly waiting, waiting on training. Well, not training. Trading. Trading. Excuse my pronunciation. It's terrible. So, once trading comes in, I'm going to be a lot happier. Because I can actually trade for Pokemon I actually want. Oh, come on. How did I not kill? Okay. Oh, teammate got it. At least the teammate got it. But... As long as Pokemon trading comes in and battling, that's going to be actually pretty interesting. Unless you go up against a person who knows how to dodge all of your attacks and you just found yourself against a pro and you are a newbie. Good luck. <laughs> we are almost done here. I didn't want the gameplays to go to waste, so I was like, why not commentate over it? Probably be the best thing. This game is really addicting. Now this whole concept of buying cards is was confusing at first, but then it started to get pretty easy. I played a lot of games, so I get used to newer games pretty fast. I was thinking about making a first impression of um, Riders of Icarus. I'm actually going to do that right after this. So maybe a double... Double upload, maybe not, not sure. I have to think about that. But the only thing that bothers me about this game is that they don't have a dedicated healer. They don't have a healing character. That's the only thing downfall that I believe that's in this game at the moment. If they had a healer, I would be a lot happier. Because I love playing healers. I love healing my teams and, you know, sitting in the back. Yep, you can already tell that I'm a Mercy player. <laughs> Anywho, now Pokemon is has been around for a long, long time. If I say a long time, it's been here like since the 19s. I'm pretty sure 1990s or something like that. But there are some. It's good to see that it's evolving and getting a lot better. So hopefully in the future we'll actually get a virtual reality room. Okay, no. Grim, you're going to have to get away from me. I'm not trying to get GTFO, bro. Oh, dear God. But I just got a double kill on that. <laughs> but hopefully in the future we'll see like virtual reality. And when virtual reality comes in, God, you already know what I'm going for. That's if I'm alive around that time. What? I may be human, but I am a realist, okay? Shit happens in life. And there are a lot of insane people around, so that happens as well. So, yeah. Sue me. Now I do plan on playing Amnesia this, like, 
Tuesday or Wednesday, I believe. On the stream, I plan on finishing up this Honor DLC. Once I finish up all those, then I will be a lot happier. Hopefully, I can get the channel on track. Hopefully, you guys can enjoy different gameplays other than Dragomon. You know? Because there's more games than just Dragomon out there. I know you guys are enjoying the gameplay. Oh, God. I just jumped into that. I know you guys are enjoying get Dragomon gameplay, but I hope you guys can enjoy other things on my channel. Like my montages. Put a lot of time to those montages, and a lot of people like them. It's just that my, you know, vocabulary is not up to par, you know? Up to par is in I cuss a lot. Don't judge me, I'm a human being. I say words. But we're about to finish up here. About to tank these towers down and take this. Um, how much longer do we have? We have like two minutes. And we just got that tower. It's over. So, yeah. The concept of Pokemon Go, 10 out of 10. Well, no, I give it an 8 out of 10 for not promising us what was it gonna be in a trailer. <laughs> I thought they were gonna actually come up with like Poke Glasses or something. But recently they made a freaking like drone that you could just throw in the air and it just flies across the freaking water. Now, I'm pretty sure now I don't know how far you can actually go with this thing. If you go on the other side of the fucking world, I would be happy. Because I wouldn't have to leave my house anytime. <laughs> but that is a far away dream because we all know that little controllers and drones can't go that far. So, if I ever attempted to go that far, I'd probably fall in a tree or something. Rip that. I would never get that back ever in my life. It would be gone. Nothing more, nothing less. It would never come back to me. So rip that. So, with that said, oh god, we're already finished up here. GG. So with that said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video of this commentary. And enjoy some gameplay of Paragon. It's actually really fun for a MOBA. And I don't play many MOBAs as I used to. I used to play a lot of MOBAs back then, but not anymore. So, hope you guys enjoyed me playing a MOBA. <laughs> I will see you guys next time. Peace out. Love you guys. Stay awesome. Team Lazy for life. Bye-bye.